had to look it up when I was preparing for this because I thought, educational moment, what's that? And then <laughs> figured out that was the Toastmaster lesson. So my Toastmaster lesson or educational moment today is about <coughs> how to let go of stress. My mom's been in the hospital for the last month and I've basically been on vacation because I've been her primary caregiver for six years since my dad passed away. And so I see the problem being is, is that guilt makes us go, 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 trying to take care of everything. And there's a bunch of, of uh, proverbs and uh, sayings. One is no rest for the weary, which is you must keep persevering no matter how tired or overworked you are. No rest or peace for the weary, which is one's heavy workload or lack of tranquility is due to one's own choices or to one's sinful life. And there's no rest for the wicked, which says you must continue with your work or other activity, although you are very tired. And that dates back to 1535. And I see the solution is rest and recuperation renew our mental and physical states. Naps, meditation, slowing down, and flow, which in positive psychology, flow, also known as the zone, is the mental state of operation in which a person performing an activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of the activity. In essence, flow is characterized by complete absorption in what one does. And it's one of the main reasons that people play video games, because I've been playing a lot of video games. <laughs> Though through the balance of skill and challenge, the player's brain is aroused with attention engaged and motivation high. So the benefits is greater creativity, elimination of stress. So my call to action is make sure you balance the parts of your life because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And that dates back to 1659. <laughs>